Okay, welcome to part 33 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, in the last part, we did a mission with Rain's Fall and John. We took down that bridge, so we made it back to YPD. I think that's how you pronounce it. And we're going to do Colonel Monroe's mission next. I like that he seems to be on good terms with the Native Americans. Well, let's take it from here. Uh oh. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children. Dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to Wapiti after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Ooh, he's okay. pissed. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. He's a pretty nice saddle and horse. So, this Colonel Fade, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay, well... Just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Wagon is hopefully not too far. I'm glad we're not taking the whole thing, you know. It's just I do not like driving. Well, it's not too bad, but I don't like driving them that much. The wagons. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Okay. Sure. Let's do this. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Monroe. Where is it at? This looks like the spot. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. 
Uh, can I get a gun real quick? My horse is shitting. <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay. <laughs> the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not oh to get boy. yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Now, how am I supposed to do that? Hmm? Shit, it passed me. Motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, he says keep it clean, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> My style. Hold it right there! Whoa, you better put that down right now. We'll open fire if we have to. That's it. Shoot that bastard already. Okay. my chance. Okay, let me uh, search this crate. Take what I need. I should probably hide the bodies too, just cause. Oh boy, this probably, probably has some repercussions for doing can't even pick him up, huh? Well, loot the guy it is. Come on, Peter, now. Come on, girl. Alright, well. Yeah. Didn't want to kill him, but whatever. Let's make our way back. <laughs> and the guy opened fire first, right? Or he, at least he was ready to, so I had to take him out. I the guy was trying to get away, but, uh. Yeah, I had to stop the wagon somehow. At the very least, I didn't die. So, so hopefully, killing all these guys this is going to be too. Like I said, there are going to be too many repercussions. I don't know if there's multiple endings. I assume there is. A lot of modern games have multiple endings now. Though I don't remember Rockstar games having, you know, having that. You never know. Yeah, this has been a long ass game, to be honest. Didn't expect it to be this length. But uh, I've enjoyed it, yeah. Chapter 5 and 4 were pretty short, so that kind of contained it. But chapter 6, I want to say, is going to be. Maybe around more than 10 missions? Five was less than ten, or fewer than ten missions. Four was about just over, I think. All right, here we go. Sorry, Monroe, but uh, wasn't that smooth with it? We gotta go all the way around. Here we go. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Ah. Oh. Wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, 
<laughs> I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Okay, that takes care of that. Uh, is that Trelawney? It says he has a mission? Go to the back scene. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I didn't jump in the damn wagon, right? Okay, girl. Yes, Trelawney. You know, I just... I do want to do it, but I've been putting off Sadie's mission for way too long, so... I'll probably go ahead and do that. I want to cut to when I get there, because that is... Damn near across... <laughs> well, I mean, it's going... Tip of the north to the tip of the southeast to the map, so... Yeah, I'm gonna cut to when I get there. I'll probably pit stop somewhere take a stagecoach. Because that was quite a ride, so yeah, just... Hang tight. Watch for that cut. This is it. Okay, here we are in San Denis. Thanks. I had to take a stagecoach, because apparently the trains were out of... Unavailable, probably because we blew that bridge out. Yeah. Well, I was going south, I figured it'd be okay. Anyway, we are here now. I love that my horse followed me. I think the first time I took a train or a stagecoach. Oh no, that's not true. I was robbing the train. And my horse didn't follow me, so that was my fault. Anyway, we're gonna hit a Sadie. We're gonna put a mission off way too long. So, that's what I wanna do. You know, I've been meeting you for the gun store. The gun hey, show as a flex. Good evening, and um I said they had new weapons. I wanted to check that out, but I mean, I'm already here. All of them. All of them did it. Hey! Will you help a fella out? Uh you just want 25 uh. cents, why not? Steal money and be fucked up. Come on! <laughs> I know you got real some food, money. Huh? There you go, bum. Mm. Listen. Oh. You have to take this. Thank you. Ooh, that's real kind of you. I lost my money playing. It's all good, man. Thank you, though. Oops. Thought I had my horse with me. Let me just call a rover. As I run over here. There goes Sadie's mission. Yeah, I saw, I saw another gameplay where... Evening. The hell you doing? Calm your ass. Uh, there was a, apparently a blind guy begging in the streets here, and you aim a gun at him, he gets spooked, so you find out he's not blind. I like the old man, it's like a blind old man in the, just in the middle of the road. He's like legitly blind, so. Good as dog. Mangy bloodhound. Alright, let's head on in. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are going to hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're going to attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Interesting. <laughs> he doesn't seem too happy. Okay. Come on. All right. We're just at the popo. Sadie's well, dressed as a woman. don't we just look the part? Or lady like a guest. We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. I feel like he's gonna point this out that home, you know? Might I say, or even being me. a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up. Nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. 
We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Yeah, I was fucked up with the dude kid. I meant that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. For Kieran's sake, I really hope they... Practice what you preach, brother. They beheaded Whatever him do you mean? before they took his eyes out. Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? This isn't gonna go that smooth, I know it. Alright, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? Mm. I don't know. He's gonna try to save them. We gotta follow them to find out, you know. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. <laughs> the crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. That's for damn sure. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Hmm. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. I saw him. You gotta tell me. Let's go. Quiet. Why are you rushing then? What's it look like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him, and do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. And it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing, right? So we'll go through here because this seems like the most direct. Oh, Arthur, how's your plans? Oh wait, <laughs> guess I'm not going through this way. <clears throat> I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. All right, I'm taking the ladder. Looks like get onto that roof, putting a stop to this prevention of execution. You know, really had to have the doors that small, really. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, where's this bastard? Approach the shooter's location. through here I guess there was one open oh it's kind of weird they would have a door like that to just go outside I guess that's how it was back then Come through the door, I know it. Your boss is gonna swing. 
I don't think so, boy. Show Fucker. me that soft underside. Let's go, bitch. Yeah, get down, bitch. Welcome. There goes your escape plan. Justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage. The only way to deal with him right justly yeah. is by savagery. Cole O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court! Where you shall be tried, this is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your Don't sentence, Cole Modriscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is it. not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must yeah, carry now. out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Oh, he's scared now. Jesus. Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Do it. Whenever you are ready. Oh. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Jesus, Sadie. Die! 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 Oh, I said he got a temper. We did it though. <laughs> we did it. <clears throat> oh, and that's the best part. We. Automatically went back to the camp. How you get on, Arthur? Hey, Tilly. Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. Hmm. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? Oh. My dear Arthur, 
You never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free. Goodbye Mary. Ooh. That kind of hurts, doesn't it? Jeez. Goodbye, dear Freya. Well, find Combs back within 45 seconds. Blah, blah. All right. What if, I don't even care for that stuff anymore, man. <laughs> Is there another? So there's Trelawney's mission and also... Who's this other one? EF? Oh, Eagle Flies. Oh, man. That's going to be rough. So I'm going to do Trelawney's mission. It's right here. I may as well, right? Yeah, I'll probably be the end of the video after that. So let me handle this. Conveniently brought me back to camp. So I like that. And he's just over here. All things considered. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Karen. <sighs> look who it is. Oh, doctor. Big tough. Arthur! <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. Hmm. I was gonna say, he, Trelawney turned out better, but now she's. They pretty much flipped the script. Both of them. Anyway, let's talk then. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh. Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Oh. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember. 
But maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. Uh, I doubt this is gonna go well, huh? We're gonna do what we gotta do, right? I feel like uh, Rain's Fall is gonna die, and then um, All right, you're Eagle Eyes is just gonna be out for vengeance. Some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. All right, let's Thank do you this. for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. <laughs> just hope nobody person. recognizes me. <laughs> I had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. Mm. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Earlier, I said Trelawney picked his life up. I got him confused with the Reverend. This way. Okay. Easy. We have eyes on you, stranger. Come here, ass. Been helping you fools out. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna go smooth. Probably gonna lose maybe Monroe, maybe even Rain's Falls. Hopefully not Charles. What the hell's going on? <laughs> like he couldn't decide which way he wanted to go. Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. 
I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Yeah. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Hmm. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. I kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason! Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shout. Get off me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. You son of a bitch! Got away! Ooh. Oh shit, Arthur! Saved him. Which 
little too much on it. Charles. What happened to Rain's phone? What? Shoot them? Are you kidding me? What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. Really? I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Yeah, I didn't even see what happened to the chief, to be honest. That shit down, went down real quick. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> oh. Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Um. I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run too. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. <sighs> I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. 
Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. Conversation that didn't turn out well. All right, well, I think that was gonna go wrong. I just knew it. So if I say he has another mission, I don't care for that. She's back at camp. Cool, not too far. I'm probably gonna do Eagle Fly's mission next. Maybe do Sadie's after. There's no details on what her mission is. That's all right. She just. Needs to speak with me. All right. I mean, she did. Man, <laughs> she made. Uh, she hit the fan when she killed that guy in uh, Saint Denis. So yeah. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. Now where am I? I'm at the station, right? Yeah, Emerald Station. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna probably ride out to Valentine, and do Eagle Flies mission next. So I'm um, save that for the next part. So yeah, thanks for watching this, and so part 33, y'all. I'm out.